My name is Mr. Okulu Paul Peter. I come from Uganda. I'm a managing director for a company called Adagani Company Limited. My company is based in Lira district in northern part of the country. It's an agricultural based company. I inherited it from my late father who when he died he requested me to come and take over. So I left my job, I came and take over the family company. We did agricultural production, we sell agro inputs, we give agricultural higher service for mechanization for small scales and medium scale farmers. And uh, in Sadasi project, we got involved in 2015. When we had a contract to produce five tons of seeds, and we were advanced 4,784 thousand dollars to produce the five tons of seeds. So we did the production of the seed. Then the Naro, who is an agent for African rice in Uganda, did the inspection, came and picked the seeds, gave to other farmers, and again. As a company, we retain some of the foundation seeds. We had two approaches in our investment project. We have a nuclear farm whereby our company has about 100 acres of land. We do the production there. Then again, to, to satisfy the demand of our customers, we also incorporated other individual farmers and farmers groups. We call them the outgrowers. So, out of the foundation seed we produce, five tons we are taken. In total, we produce 7.5 tons. So 2.5 tons we retain and give others to her outgrowers farmers. So we venture into seed production under this project. Then eventually, we were so much successful that year. That was the year 2016, first season. So we were able to produce over 20 tons of the seeds. I tell you, the Vinayak, who is an Asian based company, who had opened more than 10,000 acres of rice uh, farm in Uganda, came and bought about 20 tons of seeds at a very good price. So we accrued some profit. We, re we injected some other um, uh, profit as capital. We integrated more farmers and we became a serious partner with the Sadasi project, that is African Rise. And that was a year when we were invited here to come and give, to share in the meeting of the private sector. That was 20, 2016. That was a year. So, after that, our farmers got trained by NARO through the support of Sadasi, and also we keep building up capacity. One aspect that we introduced was the use of the Japanese power tiller. Other people call them the working tractor. So we were able to acquire the working tractor. We started giving people the higher service of the working tractor. This working tractor can do the plant plowing, plant opening. We can do the second plowing. We attach the plant and do the planting. We do the weeding. Then we also had the reaper for rice. After using the reaper, we had uh, um, a thresher. So we have an all mechanized system right from land preparation up to harvest and uh, threshing. So this one, uh, when the team from Sadasi visited their country, they came to us and encouraged us to continue using the mechanization system. We also gave a hand to hire service to some of these outgrowers. Then again, since we are using this mechanization equipment effectively, the distributor in the country called 3WM Uganda Limited identified my company to be like an agent in the region, whereby if a farmer is in need, he comes to me, I tell you more about the power tiller, then you buy it, I do the training. My capacity and my operators were built by Sadasi, the technician from Naro, who train us on how to operate the power tillers. So we train you then we give the power tiller to you. We even give the services of the power tiller. Now, one important thing that 
follow the power tiller aspect was the Vola Dyson. We introduced a use of a small distoner. And this is when one of the companies, sister company, came in to add value. The company is called Patmos. It's also based in Lira. Uh, the company used to be a very good producer of rice. They were producing tonnage and tonnage of rice. So now they started the Vola Dyson. They would get the rice from the field, go to the mill. After milling, they do the distoning. After distoning, they pack bran and sell to the market. I tell you now that they are in their first year of the, that investment, they already have an impact on them. So they are continuing their business. So this is so far the activities I'm doing with uh, African rice. And I tell you that uh, I've picked the rice investment project as one of the core activity of the company. And I'm, we are gaining a lot. Even some of my farmers who used to have, uh, who used to plant other crops, I'm now coming back to rice production. They are getting millions and millions of shillings. They call them the millionaires. Yeah, that is what I can say about it.